Steven here, and welcome back to Apache Nifi. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button down below and the like if you end up liking the video at the end. And uh, feel free to leave your comments. I enjoy reading those and getting your feedback as well. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, we are going to cover templates. Templates, if you haven't seen them, seen them, they're a really helpful tool. It's a really helpful feature, in my opinion, for a couple of different various reasons. But let's go ahead and get started on them. So for Apache Nifi, templates are located, that's what this little button across the top bar is. You have one called templates. I can drag it down here and you see I have no templates have been loaded into this Nifi. So I haven't actually made any templates yet. Now, templates are very helpful and we can take the work we did in our last video for a query database table. And from here we can look at, well, Perhaps I made this flow here, you know, this piece of a flow, and it's a part that I know I could end up using, or I, I may have to rebuild multiple times, and especially like in this case, right? We built it as a flow for an ETL to move data from one database <clears throat> or one source to our database and put it in a table. This is something I could see myself using quite a bit at work and needing to be able to build it out pretty quickly would be great. One way you can do that is by using template, templates. Excuse me. So how do we make a template? Well, there's multiple ways to do it. First thing is understanding that here's our entire flow on the canvas right now. And to make a template, all I need to go do is go over here to the left on the operate tab and go ahead and hit that create template and then have upload template. And what we wanna do is that create template. And from here, we'll give it a name. And they have to be unique names, so make sure you keep them unique. And we'll call this our aviation, oh, aviation data flow. And this is the whole flow. And the reason I say that is because once we create click here, we can see we didn't get an error, so it successfully created a template for us. And because we did not select anything on the canvas, the template was created for the entire canvas that we're looking at right now. So we can test this out. We'll go back here. We'll create a new group. Oh, whoops, not that. We'll create a new uh, process group, test group. We'll go ahead and go inside of that one. And as we can see, we have nothing in here, so we can now, the way we get a template and place it is by grabbing the template from up here, dragging it like we do a regular processor onto the canvas, and here we get the option to add template. So, through the drop down menu here, we can go ahead and select what template we want to add. In this case, we only have one. And look at here, it's got a little tooltip for the question mark here for our description on the template, which is this is the whole flow. We'll go ahead and pick that one. We'll say add. And there you go, you can see already we have quite a bit of new stuff added. And basically we just duplicated through this template the entire workflow that we had for the aviation uh, process group. So this is really cool because there's a couple ways I can see using this. One way is it's kind of like a poor man's way of backing up your data flow where I can go ahead and create the template and now I have a perfect copy of it and I can utilize this to re-implement it someplace else, or if I accidentally delete something, I have it available to put it back again. Or one very useful way of using it is to uh, have it available so, I, so that I can share with another user. And the way I can do that is once I've made this template here, I can go ahead and go to the uh, menu over here, and from the global menu, I can go to templates. And we see we have our list of templates under NIFI templates. And we do have the option over here at the far right to either remove the template and download the template. Now, when we do download on the template, what it does is it gives us a copy as an XML file that we can save to our hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there we go. I now have a saved XML 
And what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and open up that XML. So give me just a second here. Enable this one and here we are. So we're at my desktop as we can see. And from here, we can see that in my downloads folder, I have the aviation data flow XML. I can go ahead and select that. I can go to notepad, take a peek at it real quick. And inside of here, we do see that the entire flow has been put into an XML format. So every part, every processor, every piece of our flow is right here. So it's very cool to see, which means I can take this file now and share it with another user where they can then take the file and import it into their data flow. So let's go ahead and jump back over there to NiFi. Okay, welcome back to NiFi. And from here, let's go ahead and cover how we can import the data flow. Now, in order to do that, we go ahead and go to this upload template here. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and delete that and remove it from our template because it is not going to be a unique name anymore. If I try to import it, I think. We can go and search for that template, the XML file, select that, upload. It was successful. We can go back to the manager and check it out. And we can see we have it right here. So it's description and all, right? Which means I should be able to select all, delete everything in here, and then drag it from the template, add it, and there we go. So if I had someone if I wanted to share a workflow that I created, it might be helpful to someone else. They might, have, granted, they might, when they import it, they may have to make changes to adapt it to their system and change maybe uh, database connectors and stuff like that to update it to fit their, uh, their source target databases and stuff. So that's a possibility. But the rest of the flow should work just fine if they're trying to duplicate what I'm doing. Uh, this can be really helpful for... Uh, when I'm trying to work with other people and they're looking for assistance, uh, getting them or having them just package up their template, send it on over. I can load it into my NiFi environment, take a look at it, help troubleshoot or try to see if we can figure out the problem together by being able to look at it a little bit more clearly can be very helpful. So templates are really great for this type of work. And uh, even in the past, I've used them as a way to save my workflows and just save it to my local system so that I would have a backup of it as well. So that's an option if you want, especially if you're not using something like a NiFi registry, which uh, sometime down the road we'll have to cover that as well, which is what I use. That way I get versioning on my NiFi flows. All right, so the other option though, is might be asking yourself as well, what if I don't want all of this, right? I mean, I don't need an entire copy of this. So let's go ahead and delete this one. We'll jump back out of the test group, go back to the aviation and say, you know what? All I need is just this group right here, this flow that I have down here, because this is my ETL process that I'm using. And yeah, I have to change it a little bit to adapt it to something else, but I don't need a copy of the entire canvas. So in order to pull that off and create a template that way, we select all the elements using shift click, shift left, shift left click, until we have every element that we want to include into our template. From here, we can go ahead and say, Create template, give it a name, ETL flow, my ETL flow, oops, oh man. And then go ahead and create that one. There we go, so does it work? Let's find out, shall we? Go back to the test group in here, and from here, let's go ahead and add a template. Make sure we select the right one, add it, and there we go. We only have that piece of the canvas from the, the part of the data flow that we wanted to include into the template. So this is really good for, uh, I've seen, I've seen individuals who've had uh, very big data flows, like their, their main canvas is just re like three, four, five times. It just, you zoom out and it keeps going forever, right? Uh, in every direction. So really if it's like, well, maybe someone else is trying to figure out like, Hey, I'm, I'm trying to connect to this. I'm trying to make a, connection like you're trying to do, well, you know what? Let me just go find that piece. I don't need to give you everything and just give you that one little piece that you're looking for. So you can use it as a, a guide for how you can build it. Or B, maybe you can just take what I've already done and adapt it to your system and work with it there. So there is the power of templates. They are very helpful. They're very nice for cl uh, collaboration. And they're another way you can use 
in order to back up data flows that you created. Because let's face it, once you've created some of these data flows, they can be very, very big. And the last thing you want to do is lose that data. Now, templates are not the ideal way, in my opinion, of creating a system for backing up your templates or for backing up your data flows. Uh, I actually prefer using NiFi Registry. And NiFi re Registry is great because uh, when you, you don't see, oh, you do. So down here, you see the update version process group. So you see the version control information down here, which lets you right click and if you had version control set up, with the NiFi registry, you would have the option in here to go ahead and enable version control on a process group. And then from there also uh, up or version or update the version to the next version so it's saved. And uh, I'll think about, I'll have to think about setting a test environment up for that and uh, maybe walk them through that. But uh, that's my ideal way of making backups and making sure that I have a copy because then I can have it pushed to Git as well so that I have it version controlled inside of the registry and then a backup of those XMLs inside Git. All right, so that's all there is for this video. I hope it's gonna be helpful for people to be able to uh, have another tool that they didn't know about that may save you some time, especially if you find yourself um, uh, maybe updating your, your NiFi to a newer version and you just wanna make sure that, hey, I don't, I want to have something like templates made so that I can, if I unsuccessfully do an upgrade, maybe I have another way to make sure I have copies. But there you go, NiFi templates. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment if you have any questions or about the templates, or if you have anything else. And then uh, please hit that subscribe button down below. Definitely show your support for the channel. Talk to you next time.